I will show you how to blur a background so you can make your main object stand out in a video. Also, I will show you how to blur a face if you want to hide someone's identity, how to create a smooth blur transition, and how to create blur sites for a vertical videos. So, let's get on with it. Tip number one, it's blur background. Inside Premiere, go up to effects, find the Gaussian blur effect, drag it and drop it over your video. Then head towards the effect control panel and scroll down to the Gaussian blur effect. From there, select the pen tool, go to the program monitor and from fit, increase it to 400 so you can see better what you're doing on a program monitor. Then start drawing this mask and take as much time as you like so you can create your perfect mask. And because this is gonna take a while, I'll speed up this part of the video and come back when the mask is finished. Now when the mask is done, I'll go back to the Gaussian blur effect and increase the blurriness to around 18, but you can increase the blurriness as much as you like. And to blur the background, I'm gonna tick on the inverted option. Then I'll move up to the mask part and from there I'm gonna click on to the track forward button. And what this will do, it will automatically track my movements in this video. And just bear in mind that if you want to create a perfect blurry background, make sure that your main object doesn't make too many movements like the one I'm doing right now. Otherwise, it will be almost impossible to create a perfect mask and therefore a perfect blurry background. And now when the tracking is done, you can go back to the mask properties and play around with the mask feather and the mask expansion until we get fully satisfied with the result. And now we've got the example with and without blurry background and obviously with it looks much better. Tip number two is how to blur a face. So in Premiere go to the program monitor and from fit change it to 400. Then as we already apply the Gaussian blur effect, go to the effect control panel and scroll down to Gaussian blur. From there click onto the ellipse mask and go to the program monitor where you can readjust the ellipse mask until you cover the whole face. Then go back to the blur effects and increase the blurriness until the face is not visible anymore. Once again, I'll go up to mask and from the mask part, I will click onto the track forward button. And as you already know, this will automatically track the movement of my face. And then if you want, you can play around with the feather option and soften the edges of your mask. Also by using this method, you can not only blur someone's face, but you can blur car plates, logos or whatever you want to hide in a video. Tip number three is blur transition. First, from the project panel, I'll start by creating a adjustment layer and I will keep the same settings as the video settings. Then I will drag and drop the adjustment layer over my two videos onto the timeline. I will zoom in a bit and make sure that the cursor is exactly between the first and the second video. Then I'm gonna select the adjustment layer, go up to the effects panel and guess what? Type Gaussian blur. Grab the Gaussian blur effect and drop it over the adjustment layer. From there, I'm gonna go straight to the effects control panel, scroll down to the Gaussian blur and create keyframe, which I will increase to around 80%. Then by holding shift and hitting the right arrow of the keyboard two times, I'm gonna move 10 frames backwards and reset the value. After that, I'm gonna move again at the middle and this time move 10 frames forward and create our last keyframe with value zero. Then I'll select all keyframes, right button, ease in, then again, ease out. And when I play it, we've got this nice and simple blur transition. And if you want to be more creative, you can add some zoom in animation and make this transition even better. Tip number four, it's blur sites. So in Premiere Pro, I've got 1080 by 1920 video on a 1920 by 1080 sequence. And as you can see, I've got two black gaps on the sides. So to fill up these gaps, I will duplicate my video. I will select the bottom video and go up to the effect control panel. From there, I'm gonna increase the scale until it fills up the whole program monitor. Then I'll go to effects, grab the Gaussian blur and drop it over the bottom video. Then again, I'll go back to the Gaussian blur effect and increase it to around 63. And now our vertical video looks much better, but to make it even better, go back to effects, type down drop shadow, drop the drop shadow and drop it over your top video. Then from the drop shadows properties, play around with opacity, distance and softness and like that you can create blur sites for your vertical videos. So now when you know how to use the blur effect in four different ways, first like the video if you enjoy it, second subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss more tutorials like this one and third watch this video if you want to find out how to create cool text animations in Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.